The first known mention of Qualam words is in Paul Kane's book, Wanderings of an Artist Among the Indians of North America, published in 1859. While staying at Fort Victoria on Vancouver Island in 1847, Kane heard of people called Qualam living across the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Nuskleitlam is a Songhees word for Nuskleitlam and is the source of the English pronunciation Qualam and Sklalam. Kane traveled by canoe across the strait to visit Enes, which is known to us today as Enes, the large column village at the mouth of Ennis Creek across from the end of Edis Hook. Ennis and Edis both come from the same column word. George Gibbs, a government agent, collected and published a list of around 700 Clallam words in alphabetical vocabularies of the Clallam and Lemmy. Although not phonetically accurate, it is better than many later attempts at writing the Clallam language. It is a very useful list, especially in its extensive collection of animal names. Myron Eels Missionary and government agent at Skokomish recorded some Qualam words in the Juana, Chimicum, and Qualam Indians of Washington Territory. And in other articles, his work is more valuable for its ethnographic and historical information than for information on the language. Edward S. Curtis, photographer, produced a 20-volume work called The North American Indian, in Volume 9, he lists around 150 words under the label Clallam and has transcriptions of some Clallam songs. As it turns out, the words in the list are not Clallam, but from a closely related Songhees language. Franz Bose, famous anthropologist from Columbia University, recorded a short list of Clallam words in the course of his fieldwork on Vancouver Island. T.T. Waterman, anthropologist from the University of California, collected much anthropographic information on the native peoples of the area of the Puget Sound and the Olympic Peninsula. His unpublished Puget Sound Geography provides some rough transcriptions of Clallam Place names. Erna Gunther, anthropologist at the University of Washington, did extensive fieldwork in Clallam culture. Her collection of traditional stories while in folk tales, it is invaluable that they are almost entirely in English. Her transcriptions of Clallam words in her Clallam Ethnography, 1927, and Ethnobotany of Western Washington, 1945, is about as good as useful as Curtis is. Gunther made some wax cylinder sound recording of Clallam songs that have been very useful. William W. Ellendorf Anthropologist from the University of Washington and later the University of Wisconsin recorded words and customs mainly at Skokomish, where a number of Clallam speakers lived. His earliest work was the Soul Recovery Ceremony Among the Indians of the Northwest Coast. His 1993 book, Twana Narratives, Native Historical Accounts of a Coast Salish Culture, contains much useful information on Clallam culture as well as Tawana culture. John Peabody Harrington, a linguist working for the American Bureau of Ethnography, did the first real accurate and detailed phonetic transcriptions of Clallam words. He was especially interested in place names and wrote down over 250 of them in Clallam. They remained in unpublished notes until 1997. Wayne Suttles, anthropologist and linguist at Portland State University, coined the name Straits for the Salishan linguistic subgroup that includes Clallam and Northern Straits. Some Clallam words Suttles recorded at Beecher Bay can be found in the economic life of the Coast Salish of Harrow and Rosiaro Straits. Leon Metcalf, an educator with an interest in anthropology, carried his portable tape recorder all over western Washington. His recordings archived at the University of Washington of Amy Allen, Aurelia Celestine, Emma Balch, Billy Hall, Emma Johnson, and Ruth Shelton have been an important source of material for the Clown Language Revival Program. Willard Rose, ethnomusicologist working for the Bureau of Indian Affairs, 
recorded Clallam music and a few words. Some of his recorded music has been revived by the Clallam language program. Mary Ann Lambert, Jamestown Clallam, published some booklets on Clallam history and genealogy. Her book, The Seven Brothers of the House of Statithlam, has a very youthful list of Clallam personal names. She also recorded these on audio tape. Lawrence C. and M. Terry Thompson, linguists from the University of Hawaii, were the first to seriously attempt to record and thoroughly document the Clallam language. They recorded Mary Ann Lambert, Amy Allen, and Elizabeth Prince at Jamestown. However, the bulk of their 40 reel-to-reel -reel tapes were of Martha John at Port Gamble. Their article, Clallam, A Preview, was the first description of features of Clallam grammar. Their recordings, notes, and preliminary dictionary have been extremely valuable in the Clallam revitalization project. Anna Bennett, Irene Charles, Nellie Sullivan, and Josephine Williams, Elwa Clallam, worked with Lawrence C. and M. Terry Thompson to produce the booklet, The Clallam Language Beginnings Lesson. Nellie Sullivan and Josephine Williams also made tape recordings of the lessons. This project was coordinated by Lorraine Dabler and Laverne Hepfer through Elwa Clallam Culture Office with the help of the Port Angeles Public Schools. Mark Flesher an anthropology student from Washington State University, collected some Clallam words in Clallam, a study in Coast Salish Anthrolinguistics. Timothy Motler, linguistics graduate student at the University of Hawaii, was sent by his teacher Lawrence C. Thompson to carry on his work on the Clallam language. He met and worked briefly with several Clallam speakers, including Irene Charles, Adam Bennett, Richard Sampson, Ethel Hopi, and Elsie Joseph from Elwa, and Tom Charles and Lillian Charles at Beecher Bay. He taped recorded several of these speakers. His work on Clallam greatly informed his 1984 grammatical description of Saanich. Claudine Poggy, linguistics graduate student at University of Hawaii, recorded Lillian Charles and published a short paper on Clallam grammar. Stephen Eggstall, linguistics student from the University of Hawaii, recorded some Clallam stories, words, and sentences working briefly with Tom Charles at Beecher Bay and with B. Charles and Adeline Smith at Elwa. Jacqueline Ray, anthropologist at Olympic National Park, taped Ed Sampson Sr. telling stories. She contacted Timothy Motler for help in Clallam language preservation. Her recordings have been very useful in the Clallam revitalization effort. Jamie Valadez, Elwa Clallam, guided the Clallam language program, bringing together the linguists with elders, students, and the community to work to preserve and revitalize the Clallam language. Myrna Mulholland, Elwa Clallam provided Clallam words published in the children's book Say a Song by Ron Hirschi and Constance Burgum. Timothy Montler, linguist at the University of North Texas, began working closely with the Clallam language program, conducting workshops and lessons and recording a great many stories, words, and sentences from Ed Sampson, Sr., Tom Charles, Sr., Hazel Sampson, Adeline Smith, B. Charles, and Walt Bennett. He has worked extensively with B. Charles and Adeline Smith in transcribing tape recordings made by Leon Metcalf and Lawrence C. Thompson. He has produced a number of articles and materials for understanding, learning, and teaching the Clallam language. Fonts and keyboard softwares for typing and printing the Clallam language were installed in all the computers at the Elwa Tribal Headquarters. These were later installed on tribal members' personal computers and on the Port Angeles Public School computers. B. Charles and Adeline Smith, Elwa Clallam, began writing the Clallam language, recording their own speech. 
Linda Lemgayan, Elwa Klalem, recorded genealogical information and personal names working with B. Charles and Adeline Smith in the Klalem Master Apprentice Program. Michael Charles, Elwa Klalem, recorded Tom Charles in the Klalem Master Apprentice Program. Pamela Burke, student at the University of North Texas, sorted and retranscribed the Clown Place names from J.P. Harrington's microfilmed field notes in John Peabody Harrington's Clallam and Chimicum Place names. Jamie Valadez, Elwa Clallam, began teaching the Clallam language at the Port Angeles High School. The Clallam Language Board was established and consisted of B. Charles, Adeline Smith, and Tim Montler, Jamie Valadez, Linda Langayan, Wendy Sampson, Lavere Blackrow, and Elaine Grinnell became the first tribally certified Clallam Language teachers. Jamie Valadez and Wendy Sampson achieved the Advanced Teacher Certification and became members of the Clallam Language Board. George Ann Charles of Elwa became a certified teacher of the language for preschool-aged children. Also, the first teachers from Port Gamble became certified. Marie Herbert, Laura Price, and Karen McGrady. Tim Montler revised and expanded his Clallam language website. It includes a classified word list with 3,500 Clallam words with 1,000 linked to MP3 files. Interactive flash videos, model sentences and dialogue in MP3 audio files from the grammar book, Clallam games for learning Clallam vocabulary and pronunciation, morphologically analyzed useful phrases with the audio, narratives with audio and grammatical analysis, videos with Clallam and English subtitles, a set of Clallam tongue twisters with audio, photos of Clallam language program participants, a bibliography, a family tree of Cilician languages, a description of the alphabet, and Clallam keyboard software with a guide to using it. A web-based Clallam language keyboard was made available on Timothy Montler's Clallam language website. Work began on the production of many story booklets and curriculum for TRP storytelling method of language education. A Clallam language app for use in texting on smartphones was created and made freely available. The Clallam Dictionary is published. Work resumed on the grammar book. Two students from Jamie Valadez's high school Clallam language class achieved tribal certification to teach the language at the elementary and middle school levels, Harmony Arakawa and Ashley Pitchford. Members of the Clallam Language Program began the development of a series of grammar lesson videos. Two more students from Jamie Valadez's high school Clallam Language class achieved tribal certification to teach the language Corinne and Mariah Francis. Two additional students from Jamie Valadez's high school Clallam language class achieved tribal certification to teach language at the preschool and elementary levels, Justine Clifford and Yvonne Bolstrom. Hartnixt a Queen's Hartlam. Nistlaimut and Kuyatio Hanash.